You're listening to Agenda Queries on 100.5 FM, CFRO, Vancouver's Cooperative Radio. And joining us now is Goldbard, who is running an event this weekend. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Let us know about the event and let us know your pronouns. Hi, my name is Goldbard. My pronouns are they, them. And you can find me on Instagram as Goldbard Creative. And I create art and healing for queeros. Yeah, so this event, Space for Queer Rest, can you tell us a little bit about it? Space for Queer Rest came out of my need for the ultimate chill out hang, because I've been really wanting to connect with other queer folks, but recognizing that there are a lot of us who are quiet queers, who are very overstimulated at a lot of events. And so finding a space where those of us who identify as the quiet queers can gather. So you've run a couple of these. Tell us how they usually go. So I love that it is just like going back to old school kindergarten when they used to let you have a nap in the middle of day at kindergarten. It's like that, you know, like you get your little juice box and you lay down and you get stories and some songs and then you drift off into nap time. And then an hour later, I wake you up with some gentle music and then you could just go on your day feeling rested and rejuvenated. Yeah. Where is the one this weekend being held? So this week weekend, we will be in Port Moody at Pioneer Memorial Park, which is just two blocks away from the Inlet Center Skytrain. So super accessible for people. And, and then the following weekend, I will be back at Trout Lake Park in Vancouver, weather allowing. Yes. <laughs> And when we can't be together live, I run it online through my Instagram account at uh, Van City Quiet Queers. So these events have been going on for a little bit. Why is it important to have a little bit of rest time? Right now, it is such a difficult time to be queer in this world. And especially if you are trans or non-binary. And I wanted to create a space where people can come and feel a sense of queer community and know that they don't have to do anything. A lot of times when we are in queer community spaces, it feel like there's something required of them, you know? And it could be you're there often as a performer or you're there often as a volunteer. Yeah, what kind of really got you to start doing these? You know, I started being inspired by other people who were putting on cool events. Amy Kirkpatrick, who runs Sweats and Snacks Hangs at Sunset Beach. And Doa Magdi, who does the Chill Zone, which is like a restorative yoga. I took Doa's class a couple of times. They're amazing. And it's so exciting to see people starting to think about different ways to gather right now and different ways that we can come back together, especially post-pandemic. A lot of us lost a lot of our queer community for various reasons through the pandemic and are looking for a space where we can feel accepted and feel like we can just really fully be ourselves I am neurodivergent, and so I understand needing a space where you don't have to constantly mask. Yeah, Yeah, that's definitely important. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's just like me being also neurodivergent and always like literally I go to events to volunteer. (laughs) Uh, I know, right? And it's kind of a thing. And yeah. So, and I've yeah. been talking with other queers about that. And I had somebody when I was, I ran a space called the Healing Tent for the Vancouver Dyke March. Uh, and one of my volunteers said, I really want to volunteer, but also I'm very aware that this is the role that I end up taking on in most queer spaces. It's a caretaking role. And I see that so often, right? And that's, yeah. that's another big part of wanting to do this is just to like, for those people who are always feeling like I have to perform for community, like I have jobs that I have to do, but this time you don't have to do any jobs. You don't have to volunteer. You don't have to do anything except be you. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's definitely awesome. Um, if you want to dress up in full drag and come to Space for Queer Rest, go for it. If you want to come in your sweats, go for it. You know, this is just for for everybody to feel and love and remember that they are very loved and cared for in this world. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And especially uh, it's, it's nice seeing this after pride weekend because <laughs> I think it's exactly. somewhat necessary. 
because, you know, we have pride and then we get this high of, oh, yay, all this time with our community. And then we're like, okay, but we have to wait a whole year for that to happen again. Yeah. Oh, we need pride all year round. Yeah. So that's going to be happening this Sunday, 1 p.m., right? Yes, this Sunday at 1 p.m. And you can find all the details on Instagram at either Van City Quiet Queers or at Gold Guard Creative. I'll have the information on both accounts. 